Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast, and it's going to be a lot about some individual names that we could track today. We did get earnings from Godrej Consumer, so Mangalam is joining us to fill us in uh, with you know how the quarter looked this time around. Mangalam, quite a, a week showing this time. It is a weak showing for Godrej Consumer this time. In fact, the street was bracing for a weak quarter because the company had directed so in their second quarter update. But looks like on the operational front, the numbers are weaker than what the street was working with. So let's uh, take you through the numbers itself. The revenues, they were largely in line with expectations, just under 3,400 crores versus our poll of 3,400 odd crores itself. But the EBITDA and the margins missed street estimates and the net profit came in much below street expectations. In fact, 359 crores versus an expected number of upwards of 400 crores. The volumes dipped by about 5%. The street was working with a 5 to 6 percent contraction itself. Why is it that the margins missed? Uh, one, we had the gross margins which were low by almost 200 basis points and that's primarily because of raw material inflation. And secondly, the company is, uh, you know, upfronting its ad spend. So the ad spends as a percentage of sales have actually increased by about 240 basis points at 8.4 percent. This compares with 6 percent same quarter last year. In terms of geographies, weakness in Indonesia continues as the company had guided for. Africa revenue grew well, but at the same time, the margins took a sharp knock because of higher marketing spends. And India, in light of that, has been relatively stable. What does the company say about the future? They're saying that inflation, inflation pressures are abating. We expect recovery in consumption and gross margins. However, whatever savings that they will get, they will uh, you know, invest that in marketing. So to that extent, the company's guidance on the margin ban, as well as recovery in volumes in the second half, will be extremely crucial for today. Expect the stock to see a bit of a knock. All right, expect the stock to see a bit of a knock. Mangalam, thanks a lot for taking us through the fine print on Godrej Consumer. The stock anyway this year has been quite weak. It's down around 15%.